evening, everyone. Good Welcome evening. back. Hello. I'm going to go through real quick, have you all say hello, and then I'm going to ask you for your best group understanding of what's going on in this game. This is not a test. You're not going to be graded. I'm not going to mock you or say you're not paying attention or anything. I, I demand to be graded. I want to know what you currently understand so that I can make things clear if necessary. So, Joey, you're first in line. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, hi, everybody. I'm playing Connor Leon, and uh, so far, my understanding of this game is we're following the uh, trail of clues that was left behind Hammer, and we ended up in London because of a, I think, a shipping manifest, which led us to, uh, which is somehow linked to the Carlisle Expedition, which is somehow linked to, you know, this what? coal. London seems to be the last straw before he completely lost his mind. Yeah. And we uh, discovered some cult activity here, and we've been looking into it at the same time as trying to recover our fallen brothers. <laughs> uh, Let's introduce some fallen brothers. <laughs> Travis. I will be playing Theodore Oswald today. Um, from uh, my understanding as a PC, is that we are following the trail of our deceased friend, Andrew Hammer, who um, someone had put a hit on him here, and I will be murdering them brutally and viciously. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they... they, they well, they asked for the hit or not, their names are up on the chopping block. Alright, Terry, the other lost boy. Alright, uh... Following the trail that Hammer left, which leads to the Carlisle Exposition, which, uh... From there we have some stuff leading with the... The... I don't remember the boat. Something about a boat Something about a a dock. I'd have to look back at it again. Uh, white spider. The cult. Very, very knowledgeable about the cult right now. Seeing as I was in the basement for like a couple days. Well, yeah, a couple days. Yep, a, couple, a few hours. At least one day ends change. Uh, we got a bodyguard. Yes, you hired somebody. And, and now we're on our way back. Um, my hi, I'm Bry. Uh, I am running at about 60% my CPU capacity right now. Um, Mental apologies. Or... Mental. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, I play Bernadette Brandt, who is a relatively young heiress to a Moonshine Empire. And... Frankly, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> That's like er everybody else mostly summed up the plot. Currently, uh, most recent event for us is that uh, Birdie and Connor are going to rescue the boys somehow. <laughs> That's a good place to start. So, Connor and Birdie, where <laughs> and how? Uh, I, believe. I believe we were heading to the uh, uh, the Spice House. To Empire Spices? Yes. Yes, yeah. we were knocking on the door to the Spice House because Connor has five hit points. <laughs> and the, the situation is a little bit dire. Fair enough. What? 
I apologize. Kiddo's throwing a tantrum. Uh, I'm gonna put you both outside. And, uh, very, very late in the evening, or very, very early in the morning, because it's something around two or three in the morning. Yep. You are pounding on the door. There is no response. I'm going to look up and down the street and see if I see anybody watching us. Uh, how much noise have you been making? I've been trying to keep the balance between waking up anybody inside and not waking up the neighbors. All right. Make a spot hidden. Uh, boom. Boom. Bump, ba -da -dump. Woof. I'm Good blind. Ooh. I am blind. It's a panic. Yeah, you're you're lucky you're uh I mean I don't know how I could hit you with a botch here, but you're lucky you're <laughs> you're lucky your spot hidden is so high. So, uh, you look up and down the street, it is too dark. You cannot get a good sense if anybody's looking at you or not. And I'm a little concerned with the adult man who is bleeding profusely next to me. Well, yeah. he's not really bleeding profusely anymore, but... So you gotta make a judgment call. I'm going to take him around to the back door. Knock on the back door. Well, these are uh these are kind of flats in London. Ah, uh, it's the Yeah, there's a shop in the front, built. there's somewhere to live in the back, but uh there's also somebody behind this building. And on both sides. So there's like one entrance. They have not heard of fire safety. Yeah, th th this is back in the days before fire safety was a thing. <clears throat> but, I mean, if you need to get in here, Connor has picked a lock or two in this time. Yep. Thank I can absolutely pick, pick the lock. Uh, uh, Connor uh, shrugs his shoulder and winces in pain. <laughs> and he right. says, uh, I should be able to. <laughs> if you decide you're going to get into this room, then you're mm -hmm. not going to be able to fail the test, but if you roll a locksmith, we'll find out how quickly you get in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> how quickly and how quietly. Yep. Pretty good. Ooh, very quickly, very quietly. Little... Nice. So, uh, you bend down, you jimmy with the lock for just a few moments before you manage to slide it open. Uh, the door, as the door swings open, you are reminded of how cold the, uh, the winter nights in London are as the warmth inside this building just spills out over you like a wave. I'm pushing Connor inside and closing and locking the door behind us. Oh, for right. a split second, Connor's thinking to himself, Oh, I'm in shock now, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the front room is as you remember it. This is, um, this is a spice shop. It's decorated nicely, but... Mm -hmm. 
uh, you know that just behind this room, there's a very comfortable room uh, with a hookah and comfortable chairs. You haven't been in her actual living quarters. Mm-hmm. Uh, very quickly, you realize, too, uh, so you can loosen up your coats and everything, but you'll recall from your previous visits, she seems to keep this, this building at her, the temperatures in Egypt. So it is hot. Okay. I'm going to push Connor over <laughs> into a chair to sit down, and I'm going to slip into the back room to see if I can find anything to actually doctor him up with. All right. Meanwhile, meanwhile Connor is casually just reloading his gun. <laughs> Don't shoot nobody out here. Uh, Better yeah. safe than sorry. <laughs> if you step back into the apartment, Birdie, mm -hmm. which is back this way, um, very well appointed. Wallpaper is very fine. There's luxurious furnishings. Looks like the furniture is new. There's incense burners, expensive looking rugs, hanging lamps. Uh, and you're reminded again that this is more than she could make doing legitimate business in Spices. There's a roll yeah. top desk towards the back there. Uh, you can see sitting on it in the there is an, an open copy of the Quran. Pencils, uh, pens, ink. Uh, I'm going to ignore all of that for a moment, because I see a bathroom back there. Uh-huh. I'm going to head there and see about medical supplies. That yeah. That's my primary objective at the moment. Okay. Uh, this is mostly set up for, uh, you know, luxury. There are different types of salts and oils to put into bath water. But you can definitely find some bandages. Alright. Probably the best you can find for cleaning, maybe a, an open bottle of some expensive liquor. Oh, well, nothing she's got can compare to ours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use that good old. No offense yet. to her. No offense to her, but uh, I make high quality stuff and. We ain't doing anything less than that. Yeah, the stuff you've somehow managed to smuggle into England. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm just going to briefly check to make sure Connor's not bleeding all over her nice couch. <laughs> legitimate concern. Well, Connor, are you? He he's bleeding. But like, like actually, I think we close stop to the bleeding, and Connor would be careful to not rip stitches. Okay. Fair enough. So, okay. He's fine. He's just not relaxing because if he leans back, he's afraid he's gonna rip a stitch. Fair. So, Bertie, you can uh, dress the wound a little more professionally if you like. Uh, you have already made the first aid roll, and this is yeah. beyond your skill to do any more to actually heal him. Yeah, that's fair. But it doesn't look like there's any signs of her actually being here or anything. It's pretty clear she's not. And okay. you'll remember she had a... Uh, Maybe not necessarily a servant, but an employee who lives in that little room to the side. Uh, well, that looks like a kitchen, but he lives somewhere in here. This building isn't necessarily representational. Uh, and he doesn't seem to be present either. Huh. 
Well, okay then. Uh, I'm assuming that Connor would have briefed me on everything he found out mm -hmm. on the way here. Absol absolutely would have told Verity that yes, the boys have been taken by the same cult. And uh, no, I don't know where they would be at this time. But I'm pretty sure that we would be able to find out once we get information from here. From where? I mean, I don't think there's any getting information from uh, this gal. But we know they're at the Carlisle estate, right? The summer house. Or not the Carlisle estate, God. Uh, what's his name? Uh, you know that Gavigan has a, Gavigan. a state in the country. Yes, that's that's the one I'm thinking. As uh, I said, I'm running up on about sixty percent CPU brain power. Sorry. No worries. Until near the end of last session, none of you knew where they were, and at yeah. this point, it's just uh, it's just Travis and Terry who know where they are. Okay. They only found out by exiting the house and talking to the uh, the cultist who's with them now, the ex-cultist. Okay. Uh, and the closest Connor got to finding out is the cultist he was fighting with offered to take him there to the same location that the others are held. Yeah, I don't think we're terribly inclined to allowing that. <laughs> no, he shot at them when they offered that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> All right. Well, if it's obvious that there's no one here, it is exceedingly clear. Yes. Um, well, there is. I'm not. I'm not going to place any pressure on you. We can easily fade away and do something with the boys for a while if you uh, if you don't have any ideas at the moment. Uh, we could probably, uh, Connor says, uh, businesses like these usually have, uh, uh, what's the term, um, uh, the, the wheel of numbers. Perhaps we could, uh... Like a ledger? Yeah. Okay. Like, get a call. I, uh, that was me forgetting oh. the word. Ledger. Oh. So, so, yes, <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> Well, I, I love that will of numbers. That, yep. I think that if uh, no one's here, I'm going to write her a polite note saying that um, we had to use her facilities for a brief moment and get out of here before anybody finds us. And then we can go about thinking of where they're at. That seems fair okay. enough to me. So yeah, I'll run back to that roll top desk and write her a brief note explaining that uh, we were in fact the ones who broke into her house. I'm very, very sorry. Here's a few pounds to make up for the bandages. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you as you leave the building uh, and drive off into the night, why don't you make one more spot hidden check? This is the important one. Okay. Uh, you're going to notice uh, a pair of headlights. As you're heading down the street, you're going to notice a pair of headlights turn on and a car starts driving down the street after you. And after Connor makes a couple of turns, it is clear you are being followed. 
Now, the boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. boys are actually back in town. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Going to have driven all the way from the countryside into London. Uh, you had to rely on Jean's, uh, Jean's knowledge of the area because... Uh, He's worked for these people for a little while, but you told me that you wanted to go back to that bar where your where your dad knows a guy. Correct. I yes. I don't. Does anyone even remember his name? Did we give him a name? We did. That's a good question. I don't remember. I I love, that was like at the beginning. Of I, you know me. I love to make unimportant things become relevant. I believe his name was, uh, Sean something? Or was it, uh, this, this Gene, was like or... at least two months ago. I don't remember. I take all my notes on post-its, so they're around here somewhere. Absolutely a valid note-taking measure. Alright, uh, it is Patrick the bartender. Patrick, that's right, because I'm very creative with Englishman names. <laughs> Did well, Theodore he's... meet him when we went here, or was Theodore still at uh, the hotel? Uh, I would assume Theodore was with us, at least for thematic right. purposes. He might have not interacted with said crowd, but he was here. <laughs> so, um, what time of day is it? We were we left at night. Is this early morning? This is going to be pretty late. There, there's only going to be the uh, the biggest drinkers still left. That Russian guy is still here, I assume. Of course. Of course. All right. Go ahead. Uh, so, you walk in. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of people in the bar. It's a, it's a little quiet. It's just people, the real heavy drinkers left. And when you walk in, uh, Patrick's going to... He's kind of doing one of these at the bar. Mm -hmm. And then he sees you. He sits up straight. And he looks at the other patrons in here. And he, he kind of goes, come back, come back here, come back here. All right, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to follow him. All right. Uh, when you're back in the uh, in the little kitchen area here, mm -hmm. he's going to say, mm -hmm. Theodore, what the hell are you doing here? Look, we need your help. You know you're we... wanted by the police, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Theodore's gonna, like, look at look at James, look back at Oh, at right, Patrick. right, um, right. Listen, it, it's, where's, uh... Where's your dad? It's, it's I don't been a, know. It's been a rough few days. Um, Pat we got Patrick? kidnapped... We got separated from our group. We got kidnapped by a cult. We got put in a basement. We broke out. <laughs> we don't know where anyone is. Uh, that that pretty much sums up what I was about to say. Yes, yes. We hmm. we, we, figured... we came to you to so you're get looking, help. You're looking for somewhere to lay low. Nothing that not... or somehow to contact the rest of our group. We figured. We figured that you you were the best person for it. We we got some very bad news about what's happening here. What do you mean? Why did you rob that museum? Patrick, um, I'm not exactly sure how. You know what? We I know exactly how to do this. Rob it. I'm going exactly. To, we went to um, go and investigate it. Well, that's what the news said. That's because that's what the cult, or... Hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, so, Patrick, you you know how my father said that we were here investigating our friend's death, right? Yes. We, we figured out who it was, or at least who had connections. We... We broke into the place in order to um, ascertain, you know, 
what what his motivations were. It's part of our investigation. We found out that I can't remember the uh, operator's name, the director. Uh, Gavigan. Who is Gavigan? Gavigan. Gavigan has a cult of worshippers that are trying to bring ruin. This might be a bit hard to take in, but he's an evil man, and we need help. Even uh, as he just locked us in his basement for the last day and a half, at least. This sounds like persuade to me. Uh, does it have to be me? Oh, you're the one saying it. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping for charm. You know me and charm. Yeah, but you're explaining very rationally. You know, Damn it! Like, oh, I'm a poor little lost uh. boy, and I need your help. You're... <laughs> <laughs> I I was hoping to give this to um, Terry because I know I talked a little bit too take. much. <laughs> well, you've uh, it, it is true. You both were saying things, so it's fine. Okay, Terry. So it works for me. And you know what? Uh, he did a whole bunch of talking, so you can have a bonus die. Ooh. So how do I add the bonus die again when I do a roll? Uh, when should pop up and ask you. Yep. You spend that 15. You spend yeah, that 15. Yeah, I'll spend 15. it. I'll spend it. I'll spend it. Okay. Alright, he says... You know, this this is absolutely insane, what you're telling me. This makes absolutely no rational sense, but I've known your dad a long time. And once in a blue moon, he's been right about stuff like this. So, the first thing we got to hope is that none of those guys out there recognized you. Because there's a reward for information. But after that, what do you need? I don't know where your dad is. I don't really know the rest of your friends. Would you be able to, uh... Would you be at, at least able to talk to the police? I am going to uh, I am going to point or try and I'm gonna tell Theodore the wallet. I'll hand him the wallet. We I found this in my cell while we're being held against our will. This was in Gavigan's summer country home. Okay. He takes the wallet, he opens it up, he looks at it. It says, you stole a policeman's wallet? No. This was in... Where did you they find it again? They murdered the man. It was in one of the cells. Jesus Christ, you want me to go into the police station with a murdered policeman's warrant card? We we think... Do we know he's actually murdered, or do we? Do they still think he's missing? They're, uh, we, I am pretty sure... We, I'm pretty sure the man is no longer with us. This is a serious matter. I We're probably asking a bit too much out of you. But what, are, what are we telling them? Tell them that some people who escaped Gavigan came to you, gave you this wallet because they don't know who else to turn to. I'll go with you. Because they don't know who to trust. I'll go with you, but I... This sounds like a story you have to tell yourselves. There... We, we can't turn ourselves in. At least, not yet. Gavigan is planning to do something... Theodore. Yeah? You... 
Take your buddy. Find the others. I'm gonna go to the police station. Are they, you sure they, about this? They, they need to know. Are you sure? And we need to make to... sure that our our friends are okay. All right, I trust you, James. He'll 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 give you reach out a hand for a handshake. I'll take if it. You, if you think this is the right move, I won't stop you. Um, I would advise right against. I I don't know if it's the right move, but it's right now the only move that I can see. You you just gonna leave my hand out there? I I said I would take it. Oh oh, oh sorry I'm sorry. <laughs> I I really felt like that was a cool moment for us. <laughs> I started off saying I take your hand. I said I I, I focused on the rest, but I won't lie. <laughs> I'm I'm getting a little 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 emotional. Um, we'll do what we can for you if you lo get locked up. But make sure to mention what Gavigan is planning. And I'll turn to uh, Patrick. I, I'm going to also hand you the books. Actually, no. I think I might keep those. I would, I would, I would, I would like to take those with us. Gonna, they're they're very take dangerous. The, the other books, the books, not not the not the actual like cult books. I'm talking about the like the ledgers. If you want to keep the ledgers, keep the ledgers. I'll keep the occult items on me. We can't let those get out. There is uh, an unfinished letter essentially confessing to plotting the murder of Hammer. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. And then there's a ledger with detailing a whole bunch of shipments to and from uh, the, uh, what's it called? The, the Penhue Foundation, basically. Uh, I want to keep all those. Okay. Those are going to be good evidence to use to support my case. I will... I'll turn to Patrick and uh, Jean. We're going to need to find our friends, and we're going to need to stop what's coming... What is it, tonight or tomorrow night? Uh, it is going to be this night. Like, not the night this you're night. in, but the one that follows. Do either of you know how to get any firearms? I, I, Patrick. Patrick's, Patrick's gonna laugh a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I know how to get firearms. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a question from the GM. Mm -hmm. Where do you want? Who do you want Jean to go with? I want I'm... him to go with Theodore. He's I got think a lot of muscle. Good. He knows a hell of a lot more than either than you of you do about the cult. But... Yep, that's why I want him to go with Theodore. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, wait. You're talking about as uh, talking about. If you can Ooh. convince him to talk to the police, he might have more information than you do. I. I will. Um. I'll look at Patrick. Wonder. They're, what they're trying to do, I don't know if I could exactly convince you, but they're trying to bring something dangerous into this world. And I, I if I'm not able to find my friends, uh, I will have to stand up and make sure that it doesn't happen. So if if something happens to me, just make sure they know what happened. I don't know what what's happening with them at all. If they come back. Patrick <laughs> says, "I don't think your dad would forgive me if I let you go alone." I'll give Patrick a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like this tense. Like we're we're talking about some really dangerous stuff. And, mm, mm. Um, I think... Sounds like we're at a breaking point here. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. 
So, wh where we're breaking off, Theodore will be trying to see if we can't track down our compatriots, uh, either through the last place we know they're at. Uh, that's about the only safe option we have to check. So here's they what left. we're going to do. We know where James is going. Mm -hmm. uh, Connor and Birdie don't really have a plan in mind, and Theodore doesn't really have a plan in mind. So why don't we have you all make idea rolls? Oh, okay. All right. That's just intelligence? That's just intelligence. That's pretty good. You know what? <laughs> Do I... Uh, I'll see how everyone else rolls. How about Joey? You're the smartest of them all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could totally roll an idea roll, which is what? Intelligence? Straight intelligence. Yep. yep. Straight intelligence? Okay. Aha! You know what? I don't know <laughs> yeah, what I see? So, See, Connor's actually the smartest one of us. How does it feel uh -huh. being the smart one, Joey? Yeah, I'm being left out here. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, the three of you are going to come up with where you think the best place for all of you to meet would be. And you're all going to come up with a good plan. You know, I think I know something that would fit this moment, right? All right. So okay. we're, we're just talking, we're, we're having this emotional uh, conversation about how James is going to make a selfless sacrifice, turn himself into the police, expose what's happening. Theodore is talking about how he's ready to lay his life down for what he believes. And then Connor and Bertie just walk through the door. <laughs> He did get an extreme success. Like, if you want to say, like, James is already it's, left. No, it's... that That's absolutely fine. Uh, I do think it's smart for James to leave so that we don't have another conversation about whether that's a smart mm -hmm. plan. But I like the <laughs> idea that I already left. So, um, in, in, in between the time since they arrive, uh, I would like to, you know, got a... I think, I think Theodore uses... Fire long. Um, can I get a shotgun? Uh, yeah, you can have a shotgun. Okay. It's a sawed of just like my dad. Well, yeah, that's how he hides behind the bar. <laughs> um, God. Would you mind adding that to my character sheet? Uh, you should be able to. If you can't, I will. I'm trying to find the... Uh, it's there. a compendium shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, if you just go to the item screen and start typing the name of the weapon you want, you should be able to find it that way. All right. All right. So, uh, Connor and Birdie, uh, I, I think possibly your plan was... Uh, do you know you got a tail? And there's only one spot in London that you remember anybody being friendly to you. Yeah. Yep. If nothing else, maybe we can get a drunken mob going in here. <laughs> well, I'm going to remind you again, there is a reward for information leading to your arrest. Fair. So keeping a low profile might be in your best interest. <laughs> or, you know, give them a reason to be looking for us. <laughs> they already have that. Nah. That's, that's not a reason. <laughs> but, yeah, at a certain point, you might be a little bit rushed because, you know, they're coming after you. But uh, you will enter the pub and you'll see uh well the bell above the door is going to jingle uh you'll see the pat patrick the bartender stick his head out from the kitchen and he leads back in and says theodore i found your friends 
<laughs> Where are they? How, how did you find them so quick? That's amazing. He'll lean back to the two of you and kind of wave conspiratorially. Uh, I'm just going to uh, glance at Connor. Glance back at Patrick. Seems safe. Oh, uh, yeah. What are the chances he's working with him? So, and then um, just go ahead and walk back. <laughs> how I imagine what's happening in the back right now is, uh, like, I, 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 I'm prepping for something. I, I got, like, a <laughs> bandolier, and I'm just loading shotgun shells into it. He probably doesn't have a bandolier for you, buddy. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Rip. Well, I'm trying. I'm, I'm like, counting them yeah. out. You know, they're out. Little shotgun tray. You know, one, two, three, four. You're doing everything but packing the shells yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, mm. Bertie and Connor walk through the door. Connor knocks on the door, uh, on the frame, and says, um, Sanctuary? <laughs> it's not a church. Connor, what <laughs> happened to you? Why are For you... me, it is. <laughs> Connor puts a hand on his chest. <laughs> And I'm a pious <laughs> man. Connor, what happened to you? You you look all beat up. And getting shot kind of does that to you. So? I see the last few days has been trying you kindly either. Well, I found out that they had you, and uh, we were looking for help, so. Yeah, it didn't really go as planned. We, I'm going to walk a... over and punch Theodore. <laughs> Gen gently. I'm not gonna actually like hurt him, Arm, but I'm gonna punch him. Face, chest, uh, uh, lower. Arm. Okay, I, Arm. I, need, I need a little bit more. I'm like, ow! <laughs> oh, um, Jean, and this I'm gonna is do the same Connor and James is gone. Bernadette. Uh, I thought he was with me. Yeah, Jean is gone. Oh, I thought yeah. Jean was staying. Yeah, he went with me. Okay. More information. Uh, now where's James? And then we go into that explanation, and yeah. it just ends with Birdie sitting in a chair, rubbing her temples. Listen, we didn't know if you guys were dead or whatever happened after we got out. That spice lady, she could have taken you, we don't know. What was the spice lady's name? Zara Shafik. Yeah, yeah. Zara is a lovely woman. Oh. No, she ain't. We just had to break in. We just had to break into her place of business to uh, catch our breath. Um, she's part of them. She's a cultist. She oh. what now? Oh, fucking lovely. <laughs> we told them where we were going. You what? <laughs> I like that addition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you I'm do... gonna catch you guys up to speed of what's happening. You do also know you're being tailed. Yeah, and we're being tailed. I. <laughs> you guys. Now we have to move, all right? Um, we have <laughs> Connor. Connor shows the multiple cut shot wounds in his chest. I cannot drive evasively like this, man. We we have a raid tonight. If you guys are in, you're in. I'm going. I have to a go. A raid? Yes. We don't have time to stay <laughs> here. We're, you guys are being followed. Patrick, do you have a back door? Let me see. Uh, yeah, this is down at the docks. I'm sure he has probably not an official back door. Uh. <laughs> He's got a bolt hole. Um, I, Lock up your place. Yeah, he's going to yeah. lean out. Uh, remember the big Russian guy that was your friend, Connor? He's going to yeah. call out to him and tell him to lock it up when he leaves. Cotter kind of like leads up against the wall. I'm going into a raid. 
Listen. I am a pa- I am a paper cut away from being no longer here. <laughs> All right, so here's the plan. You watch my back and stay behind me. Ah, yes, ma'am. Eddie is going to uh, grab a bottle, put, take money out of his pocket, and put it on the counter <laughs> looking at the bartender. Just, here's money, I'm taking a bottle, I don't know how much it's worth, <laughs> this is mine now, kind of gesture. <laughs> Alright, uh, about that time you're going to hear the bell ring at the door again. And Patrick's gonna say, it's probably your tail. Maybe it's time for us to go. Alright. I'm tempted to just shoot them now. It's best we don't get caught up in any action until tonight. Let's head out. So he'll lead you out through uh, through a little hidey hole. And as you're looking around the front of the building, you see there's actually not a huge crowd, but there are a few cars uh, with maybe 10, 15 people. And you'll recognize some of the people that... Remember the first time you went to Zara's shop? Mm-hmm. And suddenly a whole bunch of people just showed up to harass you and keep an eye on you. Some of them are the same people. Oh, good. And, uh, you can hear there's a bit of an argument happening inside the building. But, you're gonna have to come up, if you want, are you gonna just walk away, or do you want your car back? We can get a different car. (laughs) (laughs) We we can get a different car. (laughs) It's not Connor's car, so it doesn't matter. All right, then uh, the bunch of you will fade away into the night. And I think the th- like you feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Uh, but I think we're going to jump to uh, to James. Hi. Oh boy. Oh boy, and doing the right thing. I'm so proud. The, the, this is gonna go swimmingly. I can't possibly see this going wrong at all. <laughs> uh, me, 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 casually looking at how much luck I have left. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. <laughs> Just gotta keep it over thirty. So, it's going to be sometime closer to 6 in the morning by the time you make your way to Scotland Yard. Mm-hmm. You and Jean can walk through the front door. There's, uh, probably not bored yet, but it's early in his morning. He's drinking his coffee. So the guy sitting at the desk is, uh, not incredibly alert. When you walk up, and what do you say? I'm gonna have my uh, hands raised, and I'm gonna go and say, <clears throat> "Um, I have some information." Yes. Well, what does and, it relate to? Uh, to I think a murdered police officer. He's very alert now. And... Hi! You probably recognize me. Uh, he stares at you for a moment. Then he says, Alright, both of you put your hands on the desk. Alright, I'll walk forward. I'll put my hands on the desk. Okay, and then he's going to call out and more constables come in. Uh, This is not like being arrested in New York. They're not like 
pounding on you and shoving mm-hmm. you to the ground and everything. They're just like they get their hands on you. They're directing you, <laughs> making sure you understand you're you're in custody now. Yep. Uh, he says you uh, you caught a bit of the conscience there, huh? I wouldn't say that. Um, there's just more stuff happening than, uh, I think both of us know. And I don't know who else to turn to other than you guys. Seeing as this is your territory. All right, then, we'll, uh... We'll listen to your story. I'm going to ask, can I go and reach in my pocket? Or can you reach in my pocket? There's a ledger, a note, and the wallet of, I th- like I said, the officer. So at this point, there's been a bit of commotion. Uh, like, more and more officers is kind of rushing out. because This is an unusual circumstance. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're going to see a man dressed in a, in nicer clothes come out of the back. Uh, and after a brief moment, you'll recognize him. He was actually there the night that you were that you escaped from the Penkew Foundation. He was in charge of the the cops that evening. So this is Inspector James Barrington. Is this he, one of the guys that we? If I if I recognize him, uh, hold on. I don't believe you threw acid in the face of any of the cops, did you? Ashes. Ashes. Then, uh, yes. I'm going to go and uh, do a weak smile and say, Inspector, hi. Wow. What's this about a murdered cop? Come, bring them back to my office. Uh, I will continue... Yeah. After going there uh, to the office, I will tell him. I will tell him. Uh, I went a little further. There we go. I'll explain the situation on why we broke into. Uh, what was it called again? The Penhu Foundation? Penhu Foundation, yeah. That we were investigating something uh, revolving around the murder of a friend. And that we had leads that led to Gav again. We should have went a little bit more with the law on doing this, but we with our previous experience back in New York, decided to just take it our way. After doing that, sorry about the ash. Uh, we His went to go investigate. A bit. We went to go and investigate <laughs> a warehouse. So you're, I you're... got. You're basically laying all of the facts out here. I, I, I'm laying out everything that just happened. Investigated. Right. Got taken by cultists. Found out that we were at Gavigan's countryside home. Out at Miser House. In, in his basement where he donned a robe along with some other stuff. He has an entire cult there. He's killed a man. I've witnessed it. I got out of there. And I'll also point to uh, Gene saying he helped me get out of there. Um, You'll have more information about the cult and all that stuff. If you want to ask him more questions on that. What sort of cult we found- are you telling me? cult that worships a pharaoh a they call it the black pharaoh yeah he at that 
his face, like he, he suddenly looks like he believes you a little more. You're coming here with information about the Egyptian murders? There were, I believe the Gavigans there's, there's been more cases. There's been yes. more that I don't know about? Yes, there have been. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going to also, I'm going to go and How ask again. How exactly were you researching this? <laughs> <laughs> you did say we were winning this. We didn't know about there being other cases. We, this just happened in the last day that we just gathered this information. We just broke out. Give us some credit. At least we made it out alive. You said something about a murdered officer. Yes, I'll ask. Can I go and reach in my pocket? Yes. All right, I'm going to grab the wallet. I'll hand it to him along with uh, the. Uh, the half-written letter and the ledger. Saying that this is stuff that I took from Gavin or Gavigan's desk before leaving. So, uh, opening it up and looking at the card, uh, his face goes like a pale white. You found this at, I... at Gavigan's estate. Yes, it was in one of the cells. Did you see Gregory there? No, if it's anything that like what happened two nights ago when I witnessed another man die in front of me. It probably happened just like that. Every couple of nights they do a little ritual a little rite or whatever you want to call it some beast comes down and will eat the sacrifice like a bear it, this is a, it's it's hard to explain i'm not going i i feel like i'm going crazy just thinking about it so, uh, you are not going to have to roll anything here because it is going to, you are going to have to answer questions for hours and you're going mm -hmm. to answer questions separately from Jean for hours, but it's going to come out to light that this, that the warrant card you found is the investigator who was on this case before Barrington. And mm. it's been certain that the man was murdered, although there was no proof. And he has never known. There have been murders for a couple of years, periodically. Ooh. I will also mention that it's not just Gavigan who is the head of this cult. There is a second, you could say, in command. And I will bring up... Uh, I don't remember her name again. Zara Shafik. Alright, yeah. I'll bring up... I, I'm, it's all I, right. You I, can just say you bring her up. I'll bring her up. You can call her the Spice Lady if you want. I'll say that she I runs a spice goes. shop during the day. Then she goes to Gavigan. We saw her one of the nights we were there. All right. Now he's going to, like, during the questioning with the two of you, he's going to find out about how there's a large group of people going to be there at the estate tonight performing mm -hmm. some sort of evil cult ritual and uh, to him this is going to be a perfect opportunity to round up a large percentage of them at the same time quick thing uh -huh. um, if if they do seem on board you should probably mention you have some friends that I'm, I'm, I am going to mention that I have a couple of my buddies that, or a couple of the other members in my group did split off from me. What were their, what was their purpose? To try and stop that. They're oh. going to be going there, I believe, tonight. What are their I don't know their exact plans. I think they're going in if uh, I phrase it correctly. Uh, guns a blazing? So your um, friends have conspired to commit murder. 
One of to, them has. To stop at least future <laughs> murders? I don't know. You understand that it is the... It is the duty of the crown to prevent crimes and to punish past crimes. Well, if we get there before are, they do. Are any of your friends not Americans? <laughs> I believe they're all American. Patrick's He's not American. So Surely you understand how this is a problem. <sighs> All we, right. We, we, get, well, we get there and we stop them. We stop them from doing it. And we take all of them into custody. The good news... Your, your plan you is to get them all in, fell, or in one fell swoop, right? Hopefully. The good news for you, Mr. Guillory, if you're... Uh, not Guillory, uh, Mr. Reed, if you're... If your information proves to be true and we find that we find that you really were trying to prevent other crimes, the crowd may decide to be lenient with you. Mr. Guillory, right. as I I'm still putting together this timeline, but it sounds as though you were part of the conspiracy to murder the inspector. He's looking, like, Jean is kind of looking to you, like, I don't want to be arrested. I don't want to spend my life in prison for murder. You got anything to help him? <laughs> I don't blame you. So, let's jump to the rest of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your plan for the day? Because you know that this uh, this is supposed to happen this evening. We're armed up. We're down two, down three, because we're gonna have a future, future friend. Uh, I was Can I on. just? Can I just throw it out there? I think this is a very bad idea. Oh, by the way, Hurry. that last scene was not me telling you players that, this is, <laughs> that you shouldn't do this. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah, no. no, this is just Birdie saying this is a bad idea. Okay. One of us has gone to the cops. <laughs> and we're going in... As he said, guns a blazing. Listen, I, I don't know what exactly they're going to do, but if they don't do anything, I'm going to be there to make sure that whatever they're planning doesn't come to fruition. For, 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 we Good can't. Word. Thank, thank you, thank you. We can't just sit idly by while. <clears throat> They burn this world. I mean... If you... We it, could just leave. We, we could just leave town. We, we could just, you know, let them handle it. Ugh, what am I saying? New York taught me anything. Police can't be always trusted to do what's right. So... I'm gonna make oh. sure. I'm not. I'm not saying that the police are gonna do what's right. I'm saying, as a matter of fact, we are probably gonna be the ones getting in trouble, and Gavigan's probably gonna get away scot free. That's why we have a good lawyer. <laughs> Who is in America dealing with some issues of his own? At this point, he is probably out of the hospital. We ain't got no one here. What are you talking about? I'm gonna look at Patrick. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, and also, well, it's true. Uh, I'm not a solicitor. <laughs> Con uh, Connor clears his throat. He says, "You know, our lawyer does not know uh, European law." 
there's a difference? Thanks. Yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> Theodore, they, they, ha they still have royalty here. They don't they, they they don't worry about elections so much. They they still got royalty. Now you will We're know. saying this in front of a British person, by the way. That's the that is the Oh, he hates the Queen. I mean for sure. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean what British person no, this does is, one? This is a king no, at this, this point, guy's... right? I think, I think it's right now. But either way, he hates him. <laughs> uh, you do know... Uh, I'm not saying... Your lawyer is not a British solicitor, obviously. But he was also Hammer's sort of fixer. So he has contacts everywhere you're going to end up going. And he could get you a lawyer if you needed one. But... <laughs> but it's better not to need is... a lawyer. Well, I'm also not going to be telling... Theodore that. Sure. <laughs> Guys, um, I don't think I mentioned one of the bigger problems I've seen while we we're being captive. And I think I should definitely mention something about it. They, Patrick, Patrick, I, I know you don't really understand what's really happening. So this is gonna, just, just take this with a grain of salt, please. They have a dragon. They have a what now? They, I seen it eat a person whole. It took two bites. I, I'm telling the story, Andrew. Okay. I'm telling. <laughs> I'm going to exaggerate just a little bit. Okay. Just to make sure Patrick, <laughs> I don't lose Patrick in this. I I don't know what it was, but it wasn't man nor beast. It was a monster. And even if the cops go in, I don't think they're going to be able to deal with that. This isn't... It, it wasn't a thing in the well? It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't New York? It didn't have tentacles. It had wings. <laughs> Patrick's just over here like... Yeah. Con uh, Connor, out of nowhere, you hear the 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 cork out of the bottle that he grabbed open, and a lighter light. <laughs> He's like, "No, nope, fuck this." He's, I'm, uh, if if I'm dying, I'm doing it with a cigarette and some liquor in me. <laughs> Birdie's going to steal the bottle from you and take a swig <laughs> before you can. <laughs> Okay. So. You're telling us that we're, we're, we're dealing with another thing that no one will believe us for dealing with. <laughs> yes. I, I want to make sure you're mentally aware of what at least I will be stepping into. I can't speak for the rest of you. I will be doing this. Yeah, yeah, Con Connor's just gonna quietly cuss under his breath. Oh. All right. Uh, we have liquor, right? I can make some Molotov cocktails, right? You can make, yeah, you're not gonna be able to carry too many, but you can make some, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you could reliably carry two. Oh, I have like a stick of dynamite time. in my inventory. Can I? I don't think you, I don't think you have that still. That probably didn't get make it through customs. Damn. <laughs> uh, so I don't think you... that left New York. Are you all planning to uh, to go ahead and do this? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give you a rest here. Hey. If I can make it work right. Oh, my mouse died. That's the problem. 
Oh boy. Yeah, that's that a little is, bit of a problem. That is a mode. Because my because my mouse is blinking at me, telling me, "Hey, uh, uh, batteries," and I am telling it no. Suffer. <laughs> I mean, you're the one who's going to be suffering. Mm -hmm. The power of well, having I got... a wired yeah. mouse. I... First world problems. <laughs> yes, definitely first world problems. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> but... Okay. So, resting, you recover some hit points. Um... Magic points, if you've spent them. Uh, like all my magic points? It looks like you recovered seven, so I don't know if that's all of them or not. Oh, okay. Okay. Connor, are you healing up a little bit? Uh, I didn't see the prompt yet. Uh, uh, no, there's no prompt. It just did oh, it okay. for you. So you recovered two Connor. hit points for resting all Hey! <laughs> A, a handgun will not kill me on one shot now. Well, unless they roll well. As I said, stay behind <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, yeah, unless they unless they do a really good job on the uh, on the uh, initial roll, like a standard bullet won't kill me now. All right, that's how you know a hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it takes two bullets to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you, on one side, you're talking to the police and helping them set up their raid. On the other side, you're, uh, getting whatever weapons together you can, making Molotov cocktails. What other plans do you want to put in place like that? Uh, James, not James, um, Terry. Mm. If yeah. you need an idea of what to say, I also sent you a message. I, I, I saw okay. it. I saw it. Okay. Well, it's, I'll probably use it. Well then, go ahead. While they're thinking about what else they can do to prepare, what do you want to say? <clears throat> so how did he say it again? He said, uh... He said that you will probably get some leniency because, you know, you were apparently investigating mm -hmm. these murders. But Jean appears to have been part of the conspiracy to commit all these murders. Terrace! I'll look and just say he did try to stop them. That you, was why you... he was in the cell, isn't that why? He's going to very unconvincingly say, "Yes, we." Oui. <laughs> uh, let me actually see what's his uh, fast talk here. I'll actually roll it. Please, please, no, no, extremely no. unconvincingly. No, <laughs> no. I, I'm gonna. I'm so glad that the roll bore out my impression. Yep. <laughs> you can keep with the continuity. Con continuity. That's delicious. Oh. Uh, what you was will the squeak? Recall that... Who did the squeak? You'll recall that basically he got locked up because this was a job I know why him. I know why he got locked up. Yeah. I was hoping to help his case a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh so I imagine though that you are going to want to be involved in this raid. Oh yeah, I will ask if I can go and join. You have to make an argument for this. You can make one for Jean too if you want. You better take Jean with us. Well, they need someone, one, who knows the layout of the place. Mm -hmm. Two, they don't know... If it's in the dark, I don't know if all your officers know what my friends look like, what my buddies look like. I don't want one of them to get shot by accident.
All right. Uh, and if I'm there, I can at least we can work together. All right. Uh, we're going to do a persuade roll again here. Persuade. Um, and I think you've got a bonus die and a negative die from some of this stuff, so it evens out. <laughs> All right. Come on, luck. Yes! Let's so, go! Barrington <laughs> is going to, uh, like, you make your argument. He leads back, he steeples his fingers. He's definitely thinking about what you said. He leads forward and he says, You're going to be surrounded by police. You're going to do what we tell you. Give us the information we need. You're not going to do anything else. You understand? I understand. He turns to Jean. He tells him the same thing. Jean also agrees. All right. So you will be... He's plotting a raid for tonight during the ceremony. Uh, you and Jean will be going along. And we know your friends are going to be there as well. Well, what you a don't friend. Know is what the ceremony actually entails. So we will tune in next week for that exciting development. Woo! Yeehaw! Anything you want to say before we say goodnight? Uh, Connor is going to die. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but we've got a couple replacements lined up, so. Yeah. I'll break what the deal I just made just to make sure you live. <laughs> if if Connor dies, Birdie is going to go a little insane. Just, just saying. A little. We can have two well, murder hobos. This uh, I, this does not discourage me. Yeah. Oh, I'm not trying to discourage you. I, I am saying this is a threat specifically to Travis. <laughs> How do we, hold on. None of my actions have led to this game. None of my actions have led to Connor getting shot during this this arc. Okay, last arc, I, I'll accept it. You know, I, I deserve uh -huh. it. Yeah, this time, uh -huh. this this time, you were supposed to watch him. This is my job. No, I mean uh, oh. Bernie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I didn't Thank get you. him captured <laughs> and leave him behind. <laughs> I didn't get him cursed with his mouth sealed shut. You know, Bri, your hair is very nice today. <laughs> 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 That's an excellent line to go on. on. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. <laughs>